What's up guys? Guess what? Today, we're doing some cooking thanks to good old Papa Texas. That's right, Papa Texas. So what are we cooking? We're gonna be cooking some flounder. Good old Texas flounder. And why? Because Papa Texas doing this contest with Bazell's Cajun seasoning. Good stuff. So I hear, I haven't tried it yet. Haven't even opened it. But Papa Texas sent me this, and uh, this past weekend, Emily and I went out fishing and flounder gigging. In fact, check out some of the drone footage I shot here from right before sunset. And shortly after that video was shot, the sun set, it got nice and dark, and we decided to flip on the fan motor, drop the light bar into the water, and cruise around with our gigs, and we both limited out. We sure did, and we got 10 flounder. Nice size too, everywhere from maybe, I think 17 was the smallest, 17 inches, up to about 23, so got a couple pretty decent sized ones, and several pounds of fish meat, so what we're gonna do today is cook up some Cajun grilled flounder, Texas style. Alrighty, so what we got going on here, we got our uh, flounder fillets right there. We've got our bazelles seasoning, and we're just going to crack that open and give these guys a little sprinkle. So, uh, this stuff is got a little bit of kick to it, so depending on your own taste, you may want to go a little lighter, maybe a little heavier on some than the others. Um, I'm just going to lightly do both sides of these fillets, and that's what I call light. Um, and then I'm also going to give it just a little touch of, of olive oil, drizzle over the top, and uh, that'll be nice. Then we've got uh, some onion chopped up here. I'm going to chop up some yellow squash, some zucchini maybe, uh, a couple other veggies possibly. Throw them in there with some butter and then wrap this tin foil into a packet. We'll throw that onto the grill first and get that all cooking. These won't take too long, I'm guessing just a couple minutes each side. Uh, mainly the oil is just going to keep it from sticking to the uh, foil because I'm going to throw it on the grill. And uh, because these are light, white, flaky fillets, if I were to just throw these directly on the grill, they'd probably break up and fall through. So didn't want that to happen. And uh, that's what we got going. So nice and easy with the uh, seasoning. We don't have to mix our own rub together. We'll just uh, get these together with a little bit of that seasoning, some olive oil, and we're gonna take some lemon, got those slices, and we'll just put that across it too, just to give it a little acid. And uh, we'll see what other sides we come up with. So easy peasy, lemon squeezy. That's how we're doing it here down in Texas. All right, so we went with some asparagus and onion. Just threw some salt and pepper in there with a little bit of butter, some olive oil. Got the coals nice and smoking hot. And uh, the coals are just in the front of the grill. Now we're just gonna close that up and let that cook for a little while because the fish is gonna take a lot less time once those have been there for a little bit. We'll throw the fish on and then we'll be good to go. All right, I got the fish on and uh, got some little potatoes on the cast iron skillet inside. So and do some homemade potato chips and hopefully this will be delicious. Looks fantastic. Kabam! There it is. We got our dinner. Got fresh flounder that we just caught the other day. We've got some asparagus. Got some homemade potato chips. Again, thanks to Papa Texas, PT, that's him, and Bazell's. We got that Cajun seasoning. This is gonna be fire. Doing it right down here in Texas. Thanks guys, appreciate you watching. Hopefully you like this, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment below. Check you later. Don't forget, make cool shit.